Hey everybody, so I've got just a few minutes and I've got to share something with you. The Lord's been putting on my heart. Um, yesterday I put together a video and I talked to you about the nation that God planted. Listen, America, still there's still hope for a great awakening in America. There is still hope, guys. Th this is so awesome to know that God says, hey, I'm not done with you yet. I want to base that on two places in scripture. The first one I shared with you yesterday. It's out of Jeremiah chapter 18. And it says, or at another moment, I might speak concerning a nation or concerning a kingdom to build up or to plant it. But if it does evil in my sight by not listening to my voice, then I will relent concerning the good, which I promise to do good to it. And so we talked about how the blessing is taken away when God plants a nation and that nation quits listening, that God removes the blessing. That's bad news, right? But listen, it's not too late for America. Because at the same time, when God says, hey, I'm done with you, but if you repent, I'll come back. There's a promise for that. Listen to this. This is the verse. This is Jeremiah 18, verse 7. At one moment, I might speak concerning a nation or concerning a kingdom to uproot, to tear down, or to make it perish. But if that nation against which I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent concerning the calamity I plan to do against it. So it's not too late for America. Uh, yes, as a born-again believer, I realize Jesus Christ is coming back. I realize that time is short. Is it too late? Well, it's not too late until the Lord comes back because we have a promise in the Word of God that says if a nation, that's very broad, very general, if a nation will turn back to God, that the Lord will put that hedge of promise back on it. One more place, and it's over in Haggai. See, there was a time when the Israelites... It looked like their situation was hopeless. And I know we're not Israel, but this applies to America. They were um, told to rebuild the temple. They made it to the foundation. They got lazy. They got selfish. They started spending more time on themselves. They quit building. And God sent a couple of prophets, Zechariah and Haggai, into their life to, to tell them, hey, you've got to start building again. It's not too late for you. You've got to get moving again. And the prophet Haggai, in Haggai chapter 2, verse number 19, he asked them a question that I want to ask you. He said, is the seed still in the barn? Now, here's what he meant by that. You see, every time they went out and tried to plant, every time they went and tried to, to do what God wanted them to, to do, they failed miserably. Um, they couldn't produce a harvest. Things just didn't work. And God said, hey, is there still seed in the barn? Yeah, there still was. They still had some seed left. The seed, it was them. As long as God has people, it's not too late. You are the seed in the barn. Join this. Follow this. Let's work together. Let's see an reawakening happen together as we try to follow Jesus. It's not too late for America, but it requires believers to humble themselves, pray, seek his face, and turn from their wicked ways. See you next time.